We are just leaving the campsite and uh, like a kilometer on the road I saw that our caravan lights are off, they are not working. So I went back to check left, right, left, right and it didn't show any signs of life. But um, so I think that when I was removing the caravan from the position in the campsite I kicked the electricity outlet of the caravan on the on the car so probably that triggered it now it works Whew, and we are fine and um, anyways welcome to a new video this video is not the end of our journey it's actually just changing location changing country we are going to the port in Bari from where we're gonna get the, the boat the, the, the ferry that will take us in 10 hours to Greece because we are going in Halkidiki where we're gonna finish our 2020 camping journey in a campsite and uh, the good thing is that we are camping on board now that's something new and we haven't tried it before so uh, yeah this video I will show everything regarding camping on board on a ferry towards Greece to Gomenitsa actually from Bari so welcome to a new video So we are two kilometers from the port in Bari. I've been told that the, the diesel in Greece is much more expensive, like um, 10 or 20 cents more. So I will try to, not try, I will tank up here so we have time and then continue to the ferry. Uh, so I will film now everything from check-in and boarding and disembarking and like showing around the, the, the boat, how is it? So yeah. 95 euros for 53 liters 1.70 something i think that's the price like in my country in macedonia yeah let's go now towards the port Checking super fast. Okay, so Google reviews are very 
evil towards these people. But anyways, uh, they were so nice. Maybe because we are very, very early. This is the tickets that you wanna get. Let me see, like this. So those are the tickets for the car, for the three people and a caravan. You get a camping or on board uh, like leaflet with all the information that you need. It's very basic. And uh, then you attach this thing on the vehicle and also this one, camping on board. So that's it. Make sure that you always have your passports and not all the family members need to come with you. You just need to bring all the passports with you to for the check-in in. I had the, my uh, tickets printed out, but it's not necessarily to do that. Yeah, okay. Uh, and now it's uh, very early. At five o'clock, we, we can go into the line and uh, start em embarking yeah, on the, on the vessel. If I can advise you something, uh, if you are especially with a caravan, come early, get yourself checked in, get camping on board and then line up in this area here because everybody is lining up along this road and uh, so yeah, they are blocking the parking and if you are with a caravan, you can get stuck. I, it, most of them are Germans and then uh, Dutch people, so I think that they will be considerate and then let everybody from the parking lot uh, get out. But uh, I don't want to have that as a chance, so I would recommend you park there and uh, just behind the bus lane, bus stop, and uh, you will be among the first to go. But anyways, I don't know how the logistic works here because they need to uh, sort out two types of passengers, one that are going to Patras, one that are going to Igumenica. In our case, most of them are to Patras, so I don't know how they're going to sort the camping on board because uh, Igumenica needs to go first out. But remains to be seen, stay tuned, the video is ongoing. Okay, so there was a honk, I guess that means boarding time. Let's see how this goes, is it smooth or is it chaotic? Well, everybody started the vehicles and uh, I think uh, we should be on our way. it's chaotic here with all the trucks around and then some of the trucks are going reverse it's crazy I mean unbelievable from what we've seen in uh, Denmark and uh, Norway and uh, Germany not even close to that organization So this orange really raised dressed up guy just said stop here on the side I don't know why probably I have no idea actually I can just guess maybe some trucks are coming I don't want to guess but yeah just stop here for something okay that vehicle to pass probably So one of the caravan just went that way. But we are still staying here. I don't know if we need to, all, all of us actually are going there. Maybe this is like the customs area. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I don't know how it goes, maybe we wait here until everybody embarks and then we are going on the top floor. I think it's like that because that part is going up on the deck. So that's the place where we are going. So probably all of these people in front of us are the ones who are waiting for uh, camp camping on board. And uh, yeah, they were mocking me that my car is full, co it's covered with shit of bird shit, bird, bird poop, let's be. Thingy. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Okay, 
sir. spend the night but I don't know how we're gonna turn I mean there is space I don't know how they gonna turn remains to be seen after 10 hours so yeah this how it is I guess I will have some little space to make a turn here and go out so I don't know but it's, the way they are they are dressing you it's like a let's go right yeah they almost crushed us so yeah everybody's wondering how they're gonna go out especially those who are stuck on the side and um, yeah, we'll see. Currently, Mark has enough place to play around here. But I don't know, maybe they won't put anything in the middle. If they don't, then it's manageable. But if they do, I don't know. I really, I cannot see what it, but how, will, uh, how will they manage this. Probably they do know. Interesting. guy uh, said that we can put the legs down and uh, make it more stable as, as, as we please and also what you saw now how they are bringing down the cables that's for those who cannot plug there I mean you can plug anywhere this is the Mediterranean so they don't have really strict rules for everything possible so they are very okay no problem you know that's it I have no idea now I noticed that the front cars these that are behind me town, are actually for Potras, not for Igumita, so they are gonna stay here. So if they stay here, that means that I need to go in reverse to get out of this place. Man, this is gonna be a hell of a mess. But anyways, we are settled down, it's time to relax and enjoy the, the ride. So, okay, something that I didn't know, a guy told me that uh, when you go out of the camping on board um, area, you need to go after that to the reception and get this kind of card with which you can enter the area designated for campers otherwise you are locked out so make sure you get this kind of card at the reception when you leave your caravan there is a small travel shop that is out of duty free and it doesn't have big selection I mean it's small I cannot still enter but there is nothing to buy there so I think that we're gonna um, get buy something from the restaurant bar or whatever it's called and then go down to our home oh good morning guys uh, just uh, reporting out of the port of Corfu uh, it was a uh, it was a very difficult night very difficult to sleep because it's extremely extremely hot and um, yeah we don't have an AC we have just a ventilator so we could 
didn't sleep properly till one o'clock I guess and then uh, and then from three starts the announcement for the arriving to the port of Corfu and that uh, they need to the people the passengers need to leave their cabins and then every half an hour announcement they need to proceed to the garage etc and then uh, disembark towards the port of Corfu and then after half an hour they said that, uh, you should leave the cabins for Igumenica etc etc uh, something the workers are doing mm, I think they're unstrapping the the ties and straps of the of the um, trucks but overall I mean it was uh, much better than staying up there in the in the cabins uh, in the in the seats and uh, cheaper than the cabins um, overall it's um, I would I would I definitely recommend this if you're using the ferry towards Greece or vice or Greece to Italy it's difficult if you're going to Patras because then uh, you will be arriving quite late and uh, later actually extra two three hours I don't know exactly but you're gonna start you're gonna be awakened since three so yeah that's a bummer uh, so yeah now I'm gonna start um, preparing the caravan and uh, just lift up the legs and uh, the jewelry wheel because any any time now they're gonna be announcing for disembarking and proceeding towards the, the garages so um, yeah, good morning and uh, let's see how the December goes. Okay, so we disembarked and now we are in Nigumenica port, finally in Greece. Journey continues in our southern neighbor where we're gonna spend at least three weeks or something like that. And many of our families visiting us and friends. So now we have like 500, no, 450 kilometers to drive towards Halkidiki, the second finger called Sithonia in the Armenistris campsite. Let's drive now and thank you for watching this video and hope you find it useful.